Biden's student debt relief plan is set to be helping millions of borrowers across the nation. And now we are digging into how that debt relief will impact your credit and eligibility for other loans. Local 5's Larissa Leung joins us after speaking with a certified financial planner. When borrowers take a look at their credit score, they will see their student loans are a huge part of that score. With President Biden's plan to help relieve student loan debt for those in the middle and lower classes, many people will be able to significantly raise their credit scores, making them eligible for loans they may have been denied for in the past. I spoke with a certified financial planner who explains what you can do with the money you would have been using to pay for your student loans. Those folks that, uh, that, that that are eligible and are going to qualify, then I think it's time for them to just take a step back and think, okay, what can I do with this little, little break, if I will, and make big changes in my life. Mike Hammond is a certified financial planner at Vision Financial Services. He says for many, applying to car loans and home loans just got easier. If you eliminate $10,000 of student loan debt, for a lot of cases, it makes people who may not have been eligible initially, perhaps they're eligible now, um, or if, if, if they were eligible, it also impacts the rate, the lending rate. Future college graduate Brian Oriana is celebrating Biden's news. I'm really great because that means I'm debt free. He says finances are constantly on his mind as his family counts on his success. Being a first generation student is really complicated because finances are a main priority for myself. I have to think about that every day. Check my bank account like 10 times a day. Mike says people like Brian are in a perfect position to take the funds they would have been spending on their student loans and invest them in their 401ks. Those folks that have companies that have retirement plans if you've been paying $200 to $250 per month in student loan debt and you no longer have to pay it, then in fact that can go towards a 401k, for example. And that, that's meaningful. Hammond says the worst thing you can do is use the excess money you would have put towards your loans for trips and other material goods. As he says, this help may never come again. Hammond says this is a rare opportunity to set yourself up for future financial success. We took a walk on Drake's campus and found a student who says they hope this will change the way colleges set their tuition rates in the future. I would hope it makes it a little bit more accessible to people, um, makes it at least cheaper or uh, at least not as foreboding to individuals to go to college or be afraid to go to college. We will have more from students later this evening at 10. Larissa Leon, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.